हसल कल्चर इज फैंटेस्टिक तारीफों से किसी का पेट नहीं होता वेरी वेरी खड़ूस आई थ्रो दैट यू इफ यू डोंट गेट ऑन माई फेस फिर वो पंजाबी में कहते ना चाका खुल गया फिर हम बेशरम हो गए फेमस फेमसनेस फेम इज ऑल रिलेटिव मतलब वही हो जाता है आप देखने जाओ यार अच्छा यार पर दिलजीत इतना फेमस तो भी नहीं हूं मैं हाउ इज एवरीबडी डूइंग टुडे ग्रेट फंटास्टिक इवन बेटर नाउ इवन बेटर नाउ um you know it's amazing i'm not going to introduce him everybody knows him uh, and uh, what a fantastic uh, example of a multi hyphenate uh, personality right uh, so we're going to get into the nuances of that uh, but before that i wanted to share something uh, it's been about i met him about 15 minutes ago backstage and uh, i was observing people were coming up to him right till we walked in here uh and uh, the best part was it was not just for a selfie or a you know what great work uh, he's been doing but so many people had these stories uh about him that they were sharing from 10 years ago from 15 years ago from 6 years ago uh and i think that's the hallmark of a fantastic creative person who has empathy uh that everybody who meets him uh has a story uh you know and uh, and shares that so that's fantastic <laughs> All right so Ranveer I want to start right now when we look at social media all uh, you know successful people that we look at uh the largely the advice that we are getting um you know and young people is about the hustle culture uh to become successful you need to make money and be famous this is how you can do it this is how you can get there faster uh and your journey has been not just a long one but a deep one in terms of ki aapne jo bhi kiya hai whether it was uh, restaurants that you opened all over the world in the country you did multi uh, of them most of them successful right uh, tv shows it's not like you just did one tv show and you know it became a hit you've done so many in different formats digital again you know uh, and now movies uh, but we're going to come to it just uh, in a bit so when we have this hustle culture uh and when everything around us is about making money how did you manage in your journey to go deeper uh and sustain it with excellence with everything that you've done no, but and i made money also <laughs> you know so i think i think the the um what i sort of um realized was um two things one is you know if you over plan and over think you're not letting the bigger universe plan and think for you right uh, so you can't be too controlling when it comes to everything that you want you can have a you can have a broad understanding of what you want but when you start pin pointing it you're not letting the universe do its job you're taking its work from it right so your hustle culture is fantastic i think but इतना उस चीज को पिन पॉइंटेड गोल्स बना लेना कि मुझे इस महीने इतने पैसे चाहिए इस महीने इतने चाहिए तो जो एक्चुअली हम ये भूल जाते हैं वी आर नॉट इवन ब्लिप्स इन दिस नॉट इवन ब्लिप्स यार ब्लिप ब्लिप भी बहुत बड़ा होता है इन दिस स्क्रीन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड ऑल ऑफ अस बिलीव दैट दैट इट यू नो वी आर हियर फॉर अ रीजन देन लेट दैट दैट लेट दैट बिगर मीडियम डू इट्स जॉब ऑल्सो आई थिंक दैट बेट फॉर मी इज वट आई हैव लर्न आई हैव लर्न टू सॉर्ट ऑफ not just not be not go crazy about goals i've learned to um uh, you know like i said you know chase a bigger dream uh, i've never said that hey you know let's put money first and i'm not asking that all of you do that right i'm just saying that for me what has worked is uh where do i want to be and is it um the does that place sort of have money if that place has money and i get to that place then automatically i will hold value in that place of money right so if you so you rather chase a place a dream a space that is monetizable or uh, that holds value and in today's world unfortunately the only way you measure value is hai na sirf tareefon se kisi ka pet nahi hota so so i think oh, that's that's how it has worked for me uh, the other bit is i'm sorry i mean, i know i know i'm 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 older than probably all of you here or a lot of you i'm 50 so 
اور سال بھر میں میں کہنے لائق ہو جاؤں گا میں پچاس کا ناٹ دا پوائنٹ دا پوائنٹ ہیئر از دی دا کرنسی دیٹ وی ہیو ایز کریٹرز رائٹ از دیز اونلی ون کرنسی اینڈ اٹ از ناٹ منی اٹ از بلیف دیٹ از دا کرنسی اینڈ ایوری ٹائم وین یو ڈونٹ گیٹ واٹ یو وانٹ اف یور بیسک بلیف گیٹ شیکن اپ دین دیر از اے فنڈامنٹل فنڈامنٹل پرابلم I'm not saying we should have the belief of a sage ke aandhi aaye toofan aaye main tapasya mein baitha raunga no no lekin har baar apni belief ko question karna probably uh, aapke fundamental tenet uh, ko question karta hai right to kahin na kahin i think it's very important to understand that the real currency is belief in yourself creativity has always been subjective it's always been um black for one and white for one and you know and red for somebody else for that matter it's what you believe in that eventually determines what you derive out of it and for that belief to hold steadfast you can't allow it to sort of you know look on the left and that get, and get that shaken up look on the right and get that shaken up thali bahut badi hai you know so uh, sabko there's enough for everybody we are here to talk about craft and creativity and speaking of creativity and the belief uh take us a little back uh, when you began your journey uh in the lucknow lanes uh when you said that you wanted to learn the craft um take us back and tell us an anecdote from that time and something that helped form that belief when you tested it out in the real world then lucknow you know when you learn that under ustads they will not give you recipes and they will not give you written uh, papers saying beta ye local ko ek kal exam hai right they have learnt it tere ko to 26 january ke haathi pe khada karenge kabhi tera phone baj raha hai kabhi gir raha hai i'm kidding baba this is just the punjabi sense of humor all of you have to get used to it so <laughs> so uh, yeah so that is the, the ustads sort of uh, you know that's how they that's how they learn that's how they teach life lessons right so um, and then you know what he used to do was i used to get very anxious saying every day what have i achieved today and i used to get very anxious and in the evening i used to be like oh i i got really got nothing today ek to paisa bhi nahi mil raha pata nahi kaam bhi sikha ke nahi sikha mere ko doob bidha ke masale bunwa diye aur mere ko ye nahi bataya wo nahi bataya you know, it's it's but natural we are 17 18 we want to sort of you know get to places fast and he just saw it saw it saw it for a few weeks and then he said beta idhar aao tumko ek kahani sunate hain ek nawab sahab the jaldi jaldi bolta hu because uh, yahan pe 21 minute 2 second rahega so ek ek nawab sahab the nawab sahab uh, ko paise zyada the unke aas to unko alag alag logon ko bulate the you know uh, aur bolte the chaliye kuch naya karke dikhaiye to ek ek bawarchi aaya unhone bola ha aap kuch naya karke dikhayenge aap ek kaam kariye 60 din baad apni bawli mein aa jayega اس کے بغل میں جو آپ کا دستر خوان ہے وہاں پہ آ جائے گا ایگزیکٹلی دو بجے آئیے گا ہم آپ کے لیے کچھ بنائیں گے ہم کو ساٹھ دن تک روز ایک سونے کی شرفی چاہیے رائٹ سو ایوری ڈے اے گولڈ کوائن واز سینٹ دیٹ کک اینڈ دین نو بڈی نیو وٹ ہی ڈیڈ ود اٹ اینڈ سکسٹی ایتھ ڈے دا نواب صاحب واز لیٹ یا ہی ریچ دیر ایٹ ٹین پاس ٹو اینڈ ہی سو اے بول آف دال لائنگ دیر ہائی صاحب نواب صاحب کی تو مطلب سٹک گئی کہ میں ساٹھ سونے کی شرفیہ دے دی اینڈ آل آئی گیٹ از اے دال اینڈ آن ٹاپ آف دیٹ دا گائی سیڈ ویٹ یو کانٹ ایٹ اٹ یو یو آر سپوز ٹو کم ایئر اٹ ٹو سو یو کانٹ ایٹ اٹ دس از آئی ایم جسٹ گو سو دا گائے دا کک ہی پک دب دا دال اینڈ ہی تھرو اٹ ان دا باؤلی رائٹ تو وہاں پر ایک ایک ٹھونٹ تھا لائک اے ڈیڈ ٹری دال فیل آن اٹ اینڈ دا نواب صاحب واز سو اپسیٹ ہی گاٹ دا کک اریسٹیڈ اس کو جیل ویل میں ڈلوا دیا تو ایسے ہو گئی بات ایک ڈیڑھ مہینے بعد سمبڈی ہو کمز رننگ ٹو نواب صاحب ارے وہ ٹھوٹ میں نا پتے آ گئے سڈنلی دا ڈیڈ ٹریز کم ٹو لائف اینڈ دے کوڈ میک اینی سینس آف اٹ دی اونلی تھنگ دیٹ دے سارٹ آف تھاٹ واز یار دال ہی گری تھی اس کے اوپر اور تو کچھ ہوا نہیں سو دین دے سیڈ کال دا کک اینڈ دا کک سیڈ ویل ایوری اشرفی دیٹ یو سینٹ می آئی میلٹڈ اٹ اینڈ دی ایسنس آف دو سکسٹی اشرفیز واز ان اٹ اٹ واز پوٹینٹ till 2 o'clock at 2:10 it was poisonous for you but it was potent for the tree and it brought the tree back to life munir sir looked at me and he said ke beta ek baat batao kya kya seekhe isse so uh, i said pata nahi and he says beta jab khana zindagi de sakta hai eh 
तो तुम्हें तुम्हें तुम्हारी तुम्हारी जिंदगी नहीं बना सकता क्या ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज बिलीव यू जस्ट हैव टू बिलीव दैट द मीडियम दैट यू चोजन टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ इज गोट मेक योर लाइफ एंड एंड डोंट लेट गो ऑफ दैट बिलीफ एंड कन्विक्शन सो वही फुल सर्कल है योर बिलीफ कांट वेवर your belief in your medium your belief in your creative process that cannot waver because ye wala zyada paise kama raha hai ya wo wala kam kama raha hai ya wo you know aur aaj to we are in a transient situation yaar ek mahine baad kya hua kisi ko ye pata yaar so don't let your belief waver na mudde ki baat ye hai from belief to success and then comes fame uh, television happened uh tell us a little bit about how the transition to television worked for you and maybe an anecdote do you remember your first uh you know tv presence what what it did for you how did that translate so um so i was a very very khadus i'll throw the ladle at you if you don't get on my face shit no way i was really? typically i was that guy who would sort of who would have just a hot ladle to throw at somebody in case they irritate him in the kitchen एक हमारी कड़छी जो है चूल्हे पे गर्म हो रही होती थी बस लिटरली दैट गाय हु रैन अ किचन आउट ऑफ फेयर नॉट दिस गाय हु सॉर्ट ऑफ स्माइल्स एंड मेक्स सो देन दिस दिस वन टेलीविजन चैनल दे हैड नो मनी दे सेड यार अभी दे केम टू नो होटल एंड दे सेड लिसन वी हैव नो मनी बट वी वॉन्ट डू सिक्स दिवाली रेसिपीज सो कैन यू गिव अस द स्पेस एंड यू नो दिस टॉल लुकिंग गाय हु इज अ शेफ वी विल वर्क विद हिम फॉर सिक्स रेसिपीज एंड वी विल do something with him so we shot those six recipes in the hotel baat aayi gayi hogi later the channel got funded and they said now we have money can we uh, bring that chef over again and do one one show with him so that that's when a show called snack attack happened but then when it re- how it really changed was the show called the great indian rasoi where i traveled because then i realized that you know now the narrative i control the narrative in a studio sometimes you know it's just and when you travel you control the conversations you have with people you control the narrative you're able to express yourself more freely tab fir wo punjabi mein kehna chakka khul gaya fir hum besharam ho gaye so the with the ability to sort of be unabashedly myself and uh, uh, that comes naturally so after a point in time whether cameras are rolling or not rolling didn't matter tell us uh, you know your journey as an actor right now Uh, how are you viewing it and what has been the most exciting part so i i don't know if it's a transition or if it's a progression or if it's an evolution i don't know i think it's it's like you know a painter who also starts sculpting you know or uh, or uh, so i think i look at it more more in that space uh for me um films were always a very very strong source of inspiration world cinema was always um yeah i mean i i used to lock myself in and watch uh akira kurosawa for for days you know um or majid majidi for like weeks in 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 vacations so uh, or a lot of turkish cinema for that mo- so i loved the medium right i just never i just never um, i appreciated it from this side i never sort of thought i would go on the other side of it um but i understood the power of the medium and i found a connect in that power and i understood the ability to touch move and inspire right i'm still uh, not even a blip not even a blipest blip on this <laughs> on this screen of of uh, of films and and theater and you know but i very strongly believe in it i love it i love what i'm doing i love the ability to not be ranveer uh i have one last question and that is uh what is something about fame that nobody tells you mere ko nahi pata i don't consider myself as famous i am very happy to sort of i have mastered this art of being blind sided to fame famous famousness fame is all relative matlab wahi ho jata hai aap dekhne jao yaar acha yaar par diljit itna famous to bhi nahi hu main you know to main apne aap ko famous keh sakta hu यार रोहित जितना तो नहीं हूं मतलब इट्स ऑल रिलेटिव यार आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट इट्स जस्ट मतलब फाइंड फाइंड वेज टू स्टे जुड़े रहने के तरीके ढूंढ लो वही है और कोई तरीका नहीं 
famous relative. Uh, with that, I'm going to open it up for questions. Uh, you have been one of the most fittest, if not, uh, you know, otherwise, uh, culinary experts out there. I want to know how do I put that, you know, inculcate that in a personal life. Uh, I love to eat. Looking at you, you know, I want, you know, you're an aspiration that way. Thank, Thank you. you very much. First of all, Subo Bijoya. It's a journey. I think relationship with food is a journey that all of us need to take and it's a personal journey. Huh? Varna maza nahi aata. Varna it becomes a prescribed relationship to food which is always annoying and short-lived. What has worked for me? So, f um, I do calorie piet for, for the last 9-10 years. I'm very much into calorie piet. So, one, you need to pick up one form of of physical exercise that works for you. Other than that, what's really worked for me is um, to understand that the primary function of food is functionality. The basic purpose of food is nourishment. Now, if I'm making this for 30 years and I don't understand this, what is my medium basic purpose? My medium basic purpose is nourishment. Indulgence is not the basic purpose of the medium that I'm in. And if I represent nourishment, uh, then I am representing my medium correctly. If I represent indulgence, I am not representing my medium correctly. That's one. Two, the first fuchka has the same taste. The second fuchka also has the same taste. The ability for you to mentally and mindfully have the first fuchka and just retain the emotion for the rest of your life is way stronger when you focus on only one fuchka. If you're saying my focus is I'm going to eat 12 fuchkas, then your purpose of going to the fuchka wala is wrong. You know, in India, the beauty is we eat every meal thrice. First, we sort of, we get up and we anticipate, you know what we call, right? That's what we do. You technically, you're eating a meal, you're visualizing a meal. I want to have a crispy dosa with like a butter on top, you know, and some podi and you know, just sambar, but I, today I want that sweet wala sambar, you know. And then the second time we have that meal is when we actually have it, right? And the third time is when we call up our friend, oh, bro, let me tell you what I ate today, man. There was this place, there's this dosa, you know? So you've had that meal only once, but you've devoured it thrice. That is the purpose of food, not how many dosas you ate. If you want to be like a standout artist, you need to find three things you're really good at and then integrate them. And then you need to create something out of that. So sir, if you want to be like a standout artist, can you do like one thing and be very good at it or do you need a few things and integrate them? So I believe um, all of us are, everybody has a space, right? And there's one thing that we definitely very uniquely own. The, it is very important to identify that one thing that defines us, right? The um, the reason I say na ke thali utni badi itna aap imagine kar sakte hain. If you imagine the thali to be so small and want to be miserable about it, that's your call. But the, the, it's a huge space. There's a space for everybody. But you need to identify what you uniquely bring to the thali. In, in this case, the world. Yeah, I think that one thing. But that requires a lot of a lot of non-judgmental conversations with yourself. It requires a lot of mindful presence to yourself. I'm sorry, we're totally out of time. Thank you so much sure. for sharing Thank that. You.